Hi viewers and welcome to the AIB Capital Investment Series. My name is Nelan Tekamotho and I'll be taking you through simple but comprehensive lessons on the various investment opportunities that we have within Kenya. In case you missed our previous video, uh, our previous video on bonds, do look at the description below and you'll find the link to it. Today is our second and last video on bonds and bills and as promised we'll be going over the practicalities of investing in these securities and why you should consider putting your money into these investments. Step 1. Any potential investor must have an active and updated CDS account at the Central Bank of Kenya and a Kenyan bank account. Opening an account is free and you can see the requirements on the side of the screen. The central bank is very specific in regard to how these documents should be presented however and a link to the set of instructions is included in the description below. It's important to note that it takes 7 working days to process your CDS registration application at the central bank so if you're urgently looking for a place to put your money you should take this into account and make sure to apply early to give them enough time to process your application. Uh, this is different from other investments like stocks where all you need to do is download the AIB DD Trader app or use our USSD code or even use our online platform and uh, you'd be able to start trading as soon as 24 hours. Step two, decide on the maturity and interest rate that you prefer on your investment. This is based on how long you can commit your funds for and uh, the interest rate on similar uh, T-bonds and bills of that length of time. Step three, investors must correctly complete the T-bonds or T-bills application form and submit it to the central bank. Before we move on to step 4, it's important to understand uh, one aspect of investing in treasury bonds and bills which is called the treasury auction. Uh, issues of these investments occur through a public auction with the government announcing uh, a new issue through a prospectus. This occurs monthly for bonds and weekly for bills. During an auction, every potential investor submits an application form called a bid. If you invest less than 20 million, you are submitting a non-competitive bid, which uh, means although you put an, in an interest rate you prefer on the form, the actual rate of interest you get on your investment is an average of all the other accepted non-competitive bids. Step 4. When the auction results are out, do give a call to the CBK to find out if your bid was successful and send the money you owe to lock in your investment. So those are the main, uh, the four main steps to investing in these securities, but if you need any additional information, please give us a call. Now that you understand how to invest in bonds and bills, we'll quickly go over the benefits or rather why you should be investing in these securities. The first is a low risk but high return. The reason we speak about uh, higher returns is because compared to other low risk investments like your savings bank deposits, these particular securities give higher yields. Other benefits include how quickly you can get back your money in comparison to uh, say a SACO, uh, preservation and diversification. Um, we've included uh, some more information in the links below if you want to read up on these benefits. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, in our next video series, we'll be covering all you need to know about investing in shares. Uh, do give us a call if you want uh, additional information on investing in bonds and bills. Uh, subscribe, like, give us your comments because we'll be on the lookout for those. And uh, hit the notification button if you want to be notified each time we put up a new video. But most of all, strive to learn about uh, investing in these securities so that you may grow yourself. Thank you.